Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and what I would like to do with you today is take you through some basics of the Posture system. As you know, Posture is an X-ray digitizing software, uh, first uh, pioneered and developed by Drs. Don and Deed Harrison and myself, and it's a way of digitizing and marking your X-rays for a um, patient education. B for marketing your office. Most importantly, C would be to objectively identify your patient's uh, subluxations and compare those to normal and give your patients a clear and concise patient report um, in a PDF format um, that they can understand what is wrong with their spine. So um, what's nice about the system is once it's digitized, you don't have to uh, use any other tools um, to show the x-rays. You can show a view box um, on what you digitize right then and there in, or in the next room. Uh, so once it's digitized, it's done. You can export these images to any other third-party software that you'd like. Um, and most importantly, you don't need a digital system to do this, a digital x-ray system. Although it's nice, a DICOM format, which is the digital standard, is easily imported and there's no calibration needed, which makes Posture the the prime choice for if you have digital imaging in your office. So the first thing I'm going to do is start from scratch and we're going to go ahead and create a, um, a case. I want to digitize a lateral cervical. So let's go ahead and create somebody. Oh, one last thing. This screen that you see here is a uh, Wacom tablet. It's a Cintiq uh, artist tablet. Uh, you don't need this because you can use the mouse on an ordinary computer to do this. But what's nice with this is that I actually have a pen that I can control everything with. All right, so that makes um, digitizing a lot more effective. Secondly, if you'd like, if you can see over here, you can use a tablet computer like this, which actually has a touch screen, and I could go ahead and digitize with a pen when I use the x-rays. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and create um, a new client. So. I'm going to go ahead and create a new person and let's call him Doey, uh, Johnny, and he's a male and I'm going to say that he was born in, ah, let's say, 1984. Okay, and he's English and you don't have to fill out any other demographics right now for what we're doing. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and search for his name that I just created. There he is right here. We're going to hit new evaluation. Now, what we want to do, we're going to do a lateral cervical. Um, the first thing that we want to do is choose what date the x-ray was done on. So right here, what date was the x-ray actually digitized? We'll say it was done on April 1st. And I also digitized on April 1st as well. However, if you had software from a third party, a radiologist or a hospital, you could go ahead and do your overread and choose what date you actually did that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Lateral cervical. I'm going to show you, let's go ahead and do a DICOM image format because um, it's nice and crystal clear. I'm going to go ahead and choose a DICOM format. This is a DICOM image that I'm going to digitize. What's nice about the system is it pulls in the DICOM format and it tells you where to digitize for upper cervical analysis. So I want you to see how quickly we can digitize this x-ray. So if you watch right here in this window here, that tells you exactly where to digitize. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and click these points. And if you can see, I'm going in the order that it's telling me. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through this pretty quickly. I've done a few thousand x-rays, so I'm pretty proficient at digitizing. Okay, and let me scroll down here. And we're going to go ahead and do T1 as well. And right then and there, if you look right here, those are all the values. Right then and there. Way faster than you could ever imagine doing it by hand. If you wanted to see the, the normal lines that we published in Spine, um, you can see that we can superimpose the normal lines, which no other software can do this arc that was published in Spine in 1996 and in 2004, and also verified in JMPT. Uh, that is the CBP normal line, the elliptical model. No other software can superimpose that. So next, if we want to educate the patient, let's go ahead and put a note in here for the patient. This is going to show up on the report. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 
John, the reason why you may have headaches is because you have an abnormal neck, uh, neck curve. Don't worry if you use rehab methods in our office. I believe we can improve this abnormal neck and help your symptoms. Okay, whatever you want to do, you want to go ahead and put in this region right here. Whatever you type, it makes a life impact for the patient, so this goes home with them. So whatever they came in for, if you can relate it to their spinal subluxations, put it in there. The next thing is the impression. So this would be the pathology. I'm not going to put any pathology in here because they really don't have any uh, pathological problems or thinning in the discs. But if I wanted to, let's say hypothetically, they had a thin disc. We could go ahead and just type that in there. Um, mild disc thinning noted at C5, C6. No other findings noted. Now, we don't have to mention anything about the subluxations because it's already there. So let me show you. I'm just going to generate this report in a PDF. So now, I'm going to move this here. Let me show you. With what we just did, I'm going to go ahead and generate the report after I sign. I'm going to go ahead and assign the report. Okay, hit save. And now I'm going to generate the report. So right then and there, I've just digitized one x-ray view. So you can see normal versus the patient, and it automatically calculates for the patient. Your head is positioned six tenths of a millimeter forward. You've lost approximately 97.2% of your normal neck curve. Now that's compared to ideal. Um, obviously, we have a normal average range, but we chose to use ideal. And here's the note that I put in for the patient is right here. Now, we can go ahead and save this document into your EMR software. Um, also, it generates an impression report, which is also like the pathology report which has more information, so you can see that right here. And if we scroll through, you can see <coughs> here we have the normal values here, the patient values, the difference from normal, percent difference from normal, and segmental translations, the global measurements, and we have the upper cervical analysis. So you can see the clavus dens interspace, which no other software measures, is possible in lanto occipital instability exists. It automatically calculates the overall change in lower dose like you saw in the other report. My pathology report would go in the next section here. And then I signed it. Okay, so that's how easy it is to use Posture Ray. Okay, I'll show you how to use the view box and exporting and other features and other views in the next tutorial.